This is the first broken roster arm I think we had in town. When yeah. Joe broke one, but this is a clean break. Yeah, this is like a break, and uh, I, I'm surprised because I kind of it, it kind of felt for a moment that this carbon is stronger. Yeah. But this was a pretty light hit. Maybe it's just you know got unlucky or something. I hit a tree. Well, to be honest, not in the very fast section. Now, if you take a quick look at both of these, here's some regular carbon, and this is the roster carbon. It actually doesn't have that carbon fiber laminate piece on the top that makes it look like a weeb. Again, this is really just a decorative piece. It's really hard to feel just in the hand if it's stiffer or not. You can see individual layers on a regular piece of carbon, but on this roster carbon, um, the layers are really, really thin. It's very hard to distinguish them. And there's kind of this little stripe in the middle that looks makes it look sort of like an Oreo cookie. Now, from what Joe was saying, that means that there is a piece in the middle that's sort of layered the opposite way on top of two sandwiches that are layered lengthwise. So it has strength in both directions for added rigidity and possibly a potentially unbreakable arm. Now, I did have a pretty good crash at the night spot last night, and I am repairing my night spot freedom spec slash 6S quad. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these on here. So what do you guys think? It was very difficult to source. We ordered this a few months ago and it barely came in from CNC Madness. I don't know if anywhere else actually cuts this special type of carbon. I understand they were having some sourcing issues. And if you remember when Armitan tried to do the space grade carbon thing, getting these um, non off the shelf uh, custom solutions, you end up having some issues with repeatability and consistency of the material. So even if these are good, can I really suggest you go out and try it if it's just not um, really available. The main thing I notice is that it grinds down like yeah it, it does. doesn't necessarily snap yeah but it really grinds easily. Yeah. The arm ends are completely gone on this. But again I think you can judge about the carbon or but basically about anything if you just broke one like that's you gotta true. break like 20 and then compare with different carbon like when you break 20 like something like that. you gotta have some statistics but i can tell that this breaks differently like the way the layers come off oh, like you know yeah. it definitely looks like a different carbon so i'm not complaining just yet one thing about fancy carbon is like armaten try to do the space grade carbon and if you got a good one it was awesome, but it was very difficult to source. So they found out like they made a testing batch. It was great. Then some of the people got bad batches and it broke super easy. I got a good one. So I thought it was the best thing ever. But then a lot of people were complaining. As I said, like you break one arm doesn't mean anything. The good thing is it basically costs the same price, right? Yeah. Not much yeah. more. So if you wanted to try it, you could. Yeah, and I think it feels more stiff in the hands, like, yeah, that's, that's for sure. I did notice that too. Yeah, and if it's stiffer, you know, like less vibrations in all these signs. So this is what happens at the night spot, awesome place yeah. to fly, but these are some of the consequences. I hit that ding. This oh, is and, old but he, he got lucky though, oh, this person, this pilot so got lucky, he found the, still the bell. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Good. Nice. I'll put nice. it in so the Rosser Carbon, the experiment is done. I've had these on my Night Spot quad, which sees the most damage flying over concrete of any type of arm out there for any quad that I have. And I'm doing some field repairs and you can see this bell has really been through some torture. Lots of dings. And the reason that we fly this Open Racer Pro is because it has maximum protection. This pod is made out of PCTPE, which is a nylon blend. And we fly these fatty arms, a thicker than normal, with a lot of motor protection with these little nubs, sort of a floss style design right there. Now, while the roster carbon hasn't broke, 
all of the four arms I originally installed on there are still on there. What do you notice is that even on day one, these things were starting to crash and crack and crumble almost immediately. Now, here is a new arm that I just put on and I've flown this for two or three different outings and you can see it still looks brand new. Well, these were pretty much looking like this after a couple of flights and then after a few months now that it's probably been three or four months. So hundreds of packs have been put on this configuration while they haven't cracked. Um, they just crumble. The tests are essentially inconclusive. This is the fatty style arm of the open racer. And if I stack one on top of each other, you can really see just how much of that arm has been worn away. It's, uh, it's really a tremendous amount. There is almost no motor protection. So I really ended up banging my set of night spot motors up quite a bit doing this experiment. Potentially these are stronger, but the results are inconclusive because Yvonne Lamont's design is so strong. During the same period, I really didn't break any arms, uh, so I don't know the best way to test this. Now, stay tuned to Lamont's channel. He's gonna do a deeper analysis and give us some black box logs to know if, in addition to being stronger, potentially, if it's actually also producing less vibrations. So these just, I hate to replace arms. I've never replaced an arm on any quad that wasn't broken, but the tips are just so worn down um, and these heads up motors are so hard to get right now. I can't risk damaging them any more than I already have done. So I'm putting a fresh set of regular carbon arms. The cool thing is though, this really wasn't that much more expensive. It was maybe only like five or 10% more, which is essentially the same exact price. So if you did want to try it for your frame of choice and have some cut over at CNC drones, just send those files over to them and they'll be glad to get it cut for you in the Rosser carbon style flavor. You can see that it looks quite a bit different. Very interesting. Um, so stay tuned for Yvonne's video where he'll give you the more technical details. But this is my findings after about three months of night spot flying on concrete. They didn't break, but these this arm design that Yvonne's come up with rarely ever breaks. My recommendation if you run the roster carbon is print out some TPU arm guards. That way you won't grind the tips like this. Or um, just I don't care about the grinding there. Well, I do, because look, my motor protection is gone. Yeah. I'm killing my expensive... Hard to get 533 yeah, heads up motors. 533 heads up motors. Ah. Very rare. You, not even heads up himself can give you these right now because they're yeah. sold out. I believe me, I tried.